Alright, what's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, today I'm finna do an unboxing slash little review on this little highlight PBL blue laser sight. Flashlight combo. No, ain't too many reviews on these, so. No, I thought I'd bring a little review. And a little update on my AR pistol build that I'm doing. That ain't finished yet. I haven't opened it yet, that's how it comes. Put my camera in the Exactly how it comes. I like P3BL. Laser sight, light flare, light combo. See what this motherfucker looking like. It look purple a little bit. It's bright though, I can see it. See, you can see it on the gun. And it's broad daylight, you can see it now. So it is bright. The middle of the day is like two o'clock, no, it's like one o'clock going on two. So, that's the flashlight. Like. Alright, Bring a scroll too. Yes, sir. Scroll. All you gotta do is hold the button to make it scroll. Like, let me see. Turn it on, then hold it. It cut off, then cut back on with the solid light. Then cut it back off, cut back on solid. I don't know if the laser scroll. Let me see. Alright, so the laser don't scroll. But that cool though. I ain't really too much care for that. But let me finish the um, unboxing and come with the uh, anti keys and start. Come with a charger, regular Android charger. Can't go wrong with an Android charger. You can find them anywhere. So I'm finna install this on my AR pistol. Let me show y'all how it looks. Palmetto State and K on Tactica. Palmetto State Law, Mad Pool site. M bus, ambidextrous charger handle, binary trigger. I was gonna do an installation on that, but I had to shit, learn how to do it myself. So I really can. I really like the video. Hold on, all right, I'm back. I think that look a little better. All right, so I got the binary trigger. It's the flat one. Yeah. It's my Palmetto State Armor Lore with my K.O. Tactica Zombie Thumper 556223 Upper. Uh, I got the um, I got the charging handle from K.O. Tactica 2 and the boat carrier. It did not come with the Upper, I ordered it separately. And got the Mad Pool 40 green tips. Uh, right now I got this. This light right here also came from um, Amazon. I think it's a highlight. Not highlight. This a highlight. This a, uh... I'm gonna get the name. I'm gonna put it. I'm put it on the video. But I'm finna start it real quick. Let me show you. I'm trying to speak a little louder because I know I be speaking a little low in the video. But I be in the house. So I'm be trying to, you know. I got on the chest mount. Well, the view probably you just got a bad whip it, man. Just on here real quick. Oh y'all, oh y'all want to see? I'm gonna take it in the house too. Do a, do a look. Show you how it look at, um, in the dark. But I know most people probably do want to see how it look in the light too, cause shit. It ain't always gonna be dark. You just t simply turn it up with an Allen key. And this Allen key right here for that, just the windage and the elevation on it. This screw right here and this screw right here. For the, that's for the windage and the elevation. Uh, let's see how that look again. 
Again, it's the highlight P3BL 300 lumen LED flare light precision blue laser sight USB rechargeable battery. So right now, I got two lights on there. I'm not gonna keep both both of the lights on there. I just right now I wanted to see which one bright. I got the green light. Can you see that? Green light. Turn the blue one on. All right, that's the blue one. Show you how that look. I don't know why it's blinking on the, on the camera. The green light not blinking in real life. I don't know why the hell it's blinking on the camera. But it's not in real life. But I don't know. I really can't tell which one. Brighter. They both look the same a little bit. I don't know if you can see all out there. Okay, before this, you can see the blue beam a little bit. Cause it's like, it stands out. Let me take it in the real quick, hold on. All right, this green, this blue, I was just recording where I thought I was recording when he was recording. That's green, that blue. Uh, this the green flare light. This the blue flare light. The blue flare light like a whitish light. The green flare light like a bluer. Note these two different laser sights I'm talking about. Two different ones. I'm just comparing the two. But yeah, the green, the green one, the one that I have, it's a little bluish. But they, I think they're the same. Brightness, if, if you understand what I'm trying to say, but that's the green and the blue together. Wow, door, and it's not a hundred percent dark in here because I got the TV on and some lights in here, green LED lights. So that done together. Let me see, turn the scrub on. That's the um, blue scroll light. This the green scroll light. Turn blue off. That's the green scroll. The blue look like it scroll a little quicker. Yeah, definitely quicker. But I think, I don't know. I think they ain't about the same brightness. Yeah, they about the same with the brightness. So y'all comment down below which one you think brighter, which beam you think laser sight you think better, brighter, which light you think brighter. You know, both of them work with the flashlight. Both of them work with the flashlight. Um, turn the blue one on. Yeah, so I'm finna go back outside, finna do the rest of this. All right, so I, I, I got a shell catcher bag, but I had ended up misplacing my uh, thing you slide the shell catcher onto. Uh, Picatinny rail thing, I don't know what, what you wanna call it. What would you call it, but it's basically very simple. This the glorified shell, shell brass catcher, shell catcher, whatever. Motherfucking call it. But, uh, yeah, you just simply untighten it. Allen key. Allen key. It comes with an Allen key. Allen screw. Untighten the Allen screw. It comes with an Allen key. That's what I was trying to say. So, yeah. Trying to do it. I got it on this chest mount. I got to kind of poke my chest out and do it. So, y'all can see. Let me see how I can try a good view of this. I need to simply tighten it up. 
Hopefully this in the right spot so I won't have to untighten it. Tighten it again. Hopefully I'm being away with my sight. Now let's see. Then you just slide the um, shell catch on top of it. Like so. Pop them sights up. How it look? Tell me how it look. Mad pull 40, binary trigger, in bus, mad pull sight, mad pull grip. Um put the link for the uh both of the flash lights, light slash laser combos. The over I got from KM Tactica once again. Uh the binary trigger I bought locally. Yeah, this is my AR pistol. Bill, I'm not done yet. I got some more upgrade. Mad pull D60. I had to chain my drum out when I was pinning the, not the drum, damn, I'm tripping. Chain my grip out when I was pinning the binary trigger on because uh, I think Palmetto State scripted the screw in the, the grip screw. So I had, it was a pain in the ass. I could not get the bad pull grip back on, so I had to go with the uh, standard. Uh, what it called? You know what I'm trying to say, standard grip. But yeah, man, this is my map. Not map, put this is my AI pistol up. I'm hot. I can't even talk right. But I'm gonna catch y'all in a few, man. I'm gone. Like, comment, subscribe, comment below what y'all think about the laser sights and stuff.